Hey, this is Steven from the Green Engineers, and welcome to my CodeFlow in-depth video. So this uh, video here is going to be representative of basically a video version of the uh, Kickstarter campaign description. So what is CodeFlow? CodeFlow is an intuitive programming text editor that integrates uh, two main functions into one tool, and that tool integrates into a programming text editor. So the one tool is called the NAV system. The NAV system integrates with the line by line text editor. So, now what I'm going to be talking about in this video and in the campaign description as well is the main core of CodeFlow. So, there will be stuff later added on. So, what I mean by core is that it is the basic bare bones functionality of a text editor and the NAV system to write code. So, what I mean by that, it's lacking, you know, autocomplete, it's lacking, you know, error detection like if you misspell int or whatever so it's missing those two things in the core functionality but those will be later added on and because it's missing those two things you could theoretically write anything in code flow so you could write HTML you could write Java you could write a book you could write um, C++ C visual uh, visual basic anything you want inside code flow is it is mainly built as a text editor. Anything that can be wrote, written in text can be edited in CodeFlow. So it's text editor with the organization commenting and navigation tools. All right, but it's of course mainly built for uh, code writing. And in this case, in the core version, any sort of code you want. Any sort of code that can be written in a line by line text editor can be written in CodeFlow. And of course, it doesn't have a compiler, so you would have to compile elsewhere in your favorite tool chain. So that also allows um, CodeFlow to be able to write any soft, any sort of software because you would go back to whichever of your favorite tool chains to compile that software. Okay, so CodeFlow was mainly designed for time saving. So I did a little test about how long it takes you to go through, uh, scroll through, and understand and see what you're looking at different size um, code files. So it started at 200 lines all the way up to 2,000. And what I found is that if you doubled the lines of code, it took more than double the time to search through those lines of code. So I found out that it was actually more of a exponential function type of thing with X being the number of lines of code and the, and the, the, the solution of the function being the time it takes. So the larger the code base you're responsible for, the longer it takes you to scroll through and find a specific portion that you would like to edit. And uh, the, the more you're responsible for, the longer it takes. So CodeFlow is designed to simplify that process and be able to cut down that to pretty much be a flat line that it takes you pretty much the same time, no matter, you know, theoretically speaking, no matter how big the code base to find a specific set that you want to edit, a specific, specific segment of your code base that you want to edit. And it does that using the markup system. The markup system is integrated into the NAMP system, by the way. But the markets, markup system is basically a folding type of system that you would see in something like Eclipse. Eclipse IDE has the folding um, function. But the folding is very is not very emphasized in CodeFlow. Folding is folding slash the markup system is the main emphasis. So what what it does is it basically takes your lines of code and folds them into smaller pieces that display to the user that you could navigate through. So instead of navigating through all your lines of code, you navigate through labels. So there are four main tiers in the markup system. There are the Individual files, so H file, C++ file, Java file, HTML file, individual files. So, so that's the basis. In most programming, that's usually how you organize stuff, is you organize stuff in decently sized equal part files for a specific action of the software. Then you have a segment of that individual file. Then you have an action of each individual segment. So actions are within segments. And then you have the uh, individual lines. So how that goes is first you start it with segments. So right here I have a little snippet from my uh, from some software they have written, and this is basically Arduino um, TFT display code. 
So each of these is to display labels on a TFT screen. And this is for my filament maker machine. So diameter target, um, analog, um, forgot the other A stands for, uh, temperature target, temperature current. This is analog amplifier, actually. So here is the, this is a whole segment, which could be, sometimes it's a method, sometimes it's a part of a method. It, it uh, sometimes it's the whole file, it could even be a segment. It really, the, the smaller pieces that you cut your program into, the better it is. And what is a segment? A segment is a singular action. So it is a segment of code that performs one action. So you see here, these 16 lines of code does only one thing, and that is display labels on a home screen. So instead of seeing these 16 lines of code that you have to scroll through to find something else below it or above it or whatever, you would only see this label. So it goes from 16 lines of code down to one line, which is would be displayed as a label. So if you had, you know, a, a 10,000 line, um, 10,000 line code file, you could ha you could have those 10,000 lines folded into 10 segments. So now instead of going through 10,000 lines, you only have to navigate through 10 uh, segment labels to act to access that so what you would do is you would go through like 10 different labels if you had, if you had that many and if you wanted to edit this this uh this segment you double click on it it opens up the segment in the text editor and you could edit that label and then say and then edit that segment and then save it then the lower level is the actions so the action is inside the segment and it is these uh broken up into even smaller pieces so what action market means is that sometimes you have, you know, five or more lines of code that are together solely to do one purpose. So as you see here, these lines are, are repeated over and over and over again, but are slightly different. And it's a lot better visually to see, you know, that what you're doing, you know, text color white, you know, size three and have these all editable. But it's really difficult when you have to scroll through all these. So instead of having these four lines each, which add up, you know, for four different labels, which add up 16 lines, why don't you just have them marked up as four different action labels? So here is draw DT on the UI, draw A, just draw DT on the UI, draw AA on the UI, draw TT on the UI draw TC on the UI. So what would happen is you would have all your segment labels here. You would click on this particular label, which, you know, talks about that set, which is linked to that segment. It would open up that segment and inside you'd find these four actions. And then you could click on, double click on this guy and it will open up this, this one uh, action that you could edit. Or of course you could double click on that segment and just open up the entire segment and edit the entire segment. It's completely up to you how you want to use the software. So that as a full picture, basically what that does is it takes the 16 lines of code and funnels it down to four action markup labels and then one segment label. So when you're in the nav software in CodeFlow, it would originally start with the files going this way at the top. You click on the file you want, then it would open up all your segments. Then you click on your segment and it would open up all the actions within that segment. And then you double click on that action inside the segment, it'll open up the individual lines and you edit those lines there and you're done. You could then go and navigate for your next set of uh, you know, stuff that you want to edit, lines you want to edit. Also, another cool thing about CodeFlow is the automatic uh, comment system. So it uses these labels that you create for your segments or your actions and actually adds those into your source file as um, the, the uh, as comments. So as you see here, an action for this particular block here will just comment in your action label as that. So if somebody doesn't have CodeFlow, it will help them out uh, to easily navigate your your code before you could get them, you know, a license or something like that for a code flow. And another big thing is that whenever you do this markup, if let's say you had this turned off, it will not go into your uh, source file and change any lines of your code. So you could have all this all this markup done, 
Wait a second. <coughs> Excuse me. You can have all this markup done and go back to your original source file and it hasn't changed at all. So all this, the reason why I call it markup is for you to remember that it's just a markup inside of my software. So inside, Co inside CoFlow, it just looks different because CoFlow wrote its own file and stores all this markup information, all this display information, so that it's just displayed to you differently. It's just organized to you differently. But if you go back to the source file, it's all the same exact thing as before you started marking up what the actions are and what the segments are. So that means that when you go back to your software tool chain to compile it, nothing's changed, no errors, anything like that. So as I said, it's the uh, uh, programming text editor into integrated with the nav system, and those two um, come together seamlessly. Those, those two tools come together seamlessly to help you, like I said, organize, to write, organize, um, navigate, and comment your code. Now there's two ways of interacting with the nav system inside CodeFlow. You could either, you know, click on, use your mouse and click on selections and it'll actually come up with a dynamic menu system similar that you would see in Fusion, League of Legends, and, you know, in popular games like League of Legends and Paragon. So it would come up with these different menu items that you could, you know, go through and navigate through like you see in the GIF while only give you menu options for something that, uh, has anything to do with your selection. Another thing that I wanted to emphasize that not a lot of systems have is have everything done through hotkeys. Because it's a very simple system, it's just a code editor added on with uh, this nav system. It will only add very few um, different types of options. So you could have everything on the keyboard and never have to use a mouse and just use hotkey um, you know, hotkey uh, controls or uh, hotkey combinations in order to access every single part of the co uh, the code editor side and every single part of the nav system. So you never have to get off your keyboard and touch your mouse. You could have just be all from the keyboard. Mm -hmm. All right, so as I said, it does not contain a compiler, so you could still use your favorite IDE or compiler such as a Visual Studio Clips, um, Xcode, um, jet beans, net brains, whatever. Was it jet brains, net beans, jet brains, net beans? Yeah. Okay. Um, who's CodeFlow built for? CodeFlow was originally built for you know smaller teams that have large uh, responsibilities as far as code bases. So very small teams. So for example, somebody that has um, five thousand lines of code you know, for his responsibility. Whether or not the whole system is 5,000 lines of code or if the whole system is 1 million lines of code, but they get they make him responsible for 5,000 lines. So him as one person in the team or him as one person team altogether like myself, like I write all my code by myself, so it's very difficult to, um, as the code expands, I get more responsibility or this person that has the that 5,000 line gets more responsibility as they write more. So it helps them navigate and save time. The idea is that in a standard work week, or if you're a hobbyist, or if you're a professional, is every single time you sit down, I want you to save at least an hour in a work day of navigating through all the code that you're responsible for. So the code flow gets more powerful the, more, the larger the code base you're responsible for. So smaller teams, code flow is very powerful. It, one singular person very you know pretty much as powerful as it gets um it's built for beginners intermediates and advanced that want to get into writing their code very quickly that's why i have the hotkey functionality um to infinitely size code bases and uh, co uh code flow is going to be built on unity the Unity game engine. And uh, the reason why I chose the Unity game engine, number one, is it has a very large community, you know, very powerful engine. You could find any solution that you want. They have APIs for pretty much anything you want. Uh, number two is that it uh, has a very powerful UI engine. So it allows you to have complete control of how the UI looks, how the UI flows, and it's all about the flow of UI to code text editor. So having complete control of that and not having, you know, to do, to be limited as far as toolbars and stuff like that. 
So having complete control of how it looks and how it flows back and forth. And also it has a world space, which you could do some which you, you could do some interesting stuff with world world space and how the UI is displayed in world space. And then it has, you know, obviously it's the game engine, so you could have 3D uh, meshes and textures do some interesting stuff. And uh, also handle images and other things. So why Kickstarter? Even though I'm an individual, I'm a one-person shop, I would like to have more people on the team. Have the team about three people, including myself. So in order to start working on the software, you know, I would like to pay these other two people on my team you know, a, a wage. Now, a lot of people have the misconception that software can be built for free, which is true, but it does take up time and stuff in life, even though software most of the time can be built for free, stuff in life is not. So the food, you know, the time, the time away from work, all that stuff from the rest of my team would put a lot of uh, stress on them. Even, you know, especially because they're students as well as I am. Full-time full -time students. So, would like to pay them a reasonable um, amount of time, so they a reasonable amount of wage, so they could devote more time into developing the product. Especially with our uh, very um, quick turnaround uh, estimation time for releasing the core, the whole built core with no with all the bugs ironed out uh, in four in four months by the by the end of my school semester and my friend's school and my team school semester. And then we'd start, you know, building the expansion stuff. So that's why we're on Kickstarter is to get uh, some funding in order to um, pay the team to get more people. Or if it goes over over um, the the three grand, to get more people on the team to develop quicker and to give you guys a better a better product faster. And that's why we are on Kickstarter. All right. So to ra to wrap up. CodeFlow is an intuitive te uh, programming text editor that is integrated with a navigation system that allows you to organize, navigate, and comment your code very easily and quickly, no matter the, codes, uh, the code base size. And it, it, it uses a folding type system that I call the markup system that takes four tiers of um, stuff and folds it into um, different things to organize and be able to use those labels to also navigate the code as well. Um, automatic comments, blah, blah, blah. Two different ways of editing, either using your keyboard with hotkeys or using your mouse with a dynamic um, menu system. And it is built for beginners, intermediates, and advanced that have large code bases that they're responsible for or even single person teams. So the Smaller the team, the more uh, the smaller the team and the larger the code base, the more powerful it is. Codeflow is built on Unity, great platform. Why I'm Kickstarter because I would like to get a decent sized team in order to develop things quickly and get things out there quickly. So between if the campaign is successful, between now and then there will be betas, open betas, open betas, not necessarily open betas, but closed betas for you guys to try out and give us feedback on uh, how you think the Codeflow system. Sh should involve for the core to get it to where it is the most functional system for you know dedicated programmers to the uh, to the CodeFlow system. All right, so I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you guys are going to back the project, please check out Unique Rewards on the right hand side. If you have any questions, get in touch with me either on my website's contact me form or just message me through Kickstarter. And I'll and if you guys are backers, I'll see you guys in later. Uh, content and updates. And I'll see you guys. And I'd like to thank everybody for watching. See you guys later.